So many complaints. What should I do? Ah, oh, are you the traveler who my superior said would come and help us out? You came at the perfect time. We're facing a small problem here. As you know, the Iridori Festival is underway. In addition to all the things on sale, there's a lot of free entertainment programs available. But today, we received numerous complaints that a group of people have been hogging the Tanuki photo board. They won't leave so no one else gets to use it. <sighs> what a headache. Well, we tried talking to them, but the original point of these entertainment facilities was to let people freely enjoy the festival. So in principle, it's open to everyone. And there's no time limit on usage. This means that as long as they haven't done anything technically illegal, even if they keep hogging it, there is nothing we can do. So, can you try negotiating with them for us? If these complaints can't be resolved and Madame Cujo finds out, I'll lose my bonus this month for sure. Hogging a photo board, huh? <laughs> we know who would do something like that. Should we go and have a look? Thank you so much. You'll find them by the Tanuki photo board just east of the square. Paimon, what's happening? Oh, you came here for the Iridori Festival too? Oh, see, I knew it! Great minds think alike, huh? <laughs> oh, you're such a child. We're here to take care of a little problem. Go, oh, go, oh, right. Yeah, well, who's got a problem? The Arataki Gang considers it our born duty to help those in need. Huh? The Arataki Gang is the problem! The Tenryo Commission said you guys have been hogging the photo board and nobody else has had a chance to use it! Oh, uh, well, no, we haven't. Oh, uh, it's kind of a long story. Uh, hey, Mamoru, you're up. Explain the situation to these good people. Yes, boss. The story starts two months ago, when we first found out about the Iridori Festival. As everyone knows, this is a festival all about showcasing culture, with books on all kinds of topics on display and for sale. Our boss is very forward-thinking. He thought we should seize this golden opportunity to publish some material introducing the Arataki Gang and help craft a glorious public image. He also said we can make some money out of it to support ourselves. <clears throat> uh, well, that wasn't the main reason, obviously. Of course that was your main reason. At first, we had plenty of time. In two months, Boss planned to write 60 pages. But one month in, and he'd written a grand total of one line. Well, I mean, come on, you gotta make sure the quality is up to scratch. More like worst procrastinator ever. So we cut some of the planned content, and figured it would still be fine if we could put out 20 pages in the next month. But the day after that, the boss got a hold of this card game called Genius Invocation TCG. Everyone loved it! It felt like we only played a few rounds, but before we knew it, half a month had gone by! I'm telling you, this game? It's pretty incredible. I was just gathering inspiration for my writing. What? Sure you were. Inspiration that has absolutely nothing to do with what you were writing about. So, then we only had two weeks left. 
No way was that going to be enough time to publish a book. Boss said we should just make a colorful flyer instead. That way, we'd only need to think of a slogan. That makes more sense. It shouldn't take too long to think of a slogan, right? Yeah, it didn't take long at all. We came up with 30 slogans between us in just half a day. But 30 was too many, and we couldn't agree with each other on which one to use. It took us a week to make the final decision. That was when we realized we'd have to pay an expensive express fee for the printing, because there was so little time left. And we couldn't afford it! You gotta take it slow if you want to do something well. Pay an express fee and they're gonna do a rush job, and <laughs> then there's gonna be all sorts of problems. The Arataki Gang only puts out the very best into the world, and that is why I decided to give up on that project. That, yep, well said. You gotta do what keeps you happy. Same goes for humans and Oni alike. But it's not every day that you get to go to an Iridori festival, right? So priority number one right now is enjoying ourselves to the mo 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 max And the way you chose to enjoy yourselves was to commandeer a novelty photo board? Um, so at first, Boss brought us here to buy some drinks. He said there was some sort of Iridori festival limited edition soft drink available. That's right. This ain't no ordinary drink, either. It's a special edition joint creation of Sailing Breeze and Yai Publishing House, as featured in the popular novel, Pretty Please Kitsune Guji? Uh... what? But when we got to the festival, the staff wouldn't let us in because of our unusual outfits. They said we had to show up looking like our normal selves before they'd let us in. We'd invested a lot of time and money into the way we looked, and then they accused us of spoiling the image of the city. One thing led to another, and by the time we finally got to Sailing Breeze's booth, all the drinks were sold out. We were pretty disappointed, but there was nothing we could do. Then we saw this photo board on the way back. Boss said we can't let the trip go to waste, so... So you decided to take over the whole area for your own use? <laughs> I beg to differ. It's public property. We didn't commandeer anything. We're just making sure public resources get used to the max. Yeah, boss is right. We're the ones making the most out of this thing. Never let a single moment in your life go to waste. That's our policy in the Arataki Gang, and we're out here making sure this photo board gets the most out of its lifespan, too. Oh, brother, what a noble cause. But we spent so much money on our appearance. We only had enough left for one of those drinks. We don't have anywhere near enough to buy books. Well, you can't just take over this photo board for yourself because it's free and you don't have any money. Other people have the right to use it, too! I guess when you put it like that, I can kind of see where you're coming from. So come on! Let someone else have their turn already! Um... Um... But you know full well that the Arataki Gang has a reputation to uphold. If I say I'm gonna make the most out of this board, then I have to live up to my words. If we just scrap our plan like that, we'd be going against our word. A gang's gotta have integrity, or it does huge damage to your prestige. <clears throat> that being said, we won't have to worry about any of that if we can settle this the Arataki way. The Arataki way, huh? Paimon has a bad feeling about this. So I, Arataki numero uno ito, challenge you to an all-out, no-holds-barred, anything-goes duel. If you win, I will leave this board alone. Oh, beetle fighting is an awesome idea. Just so happens I caught myself a true beast of an Oni Kabuto the other day. I call it Demon of Darkness. Unfortunately, I didn't bring Demon of Darkness with me today, so... Huh. Well, that's a relief. So, how are we gonna do this duel? Uh, let's think. Um... 
Yeah, ugh, wow, this is a this is a tough nut to crack. Let me think for a second. Um Hey, look! Isn't that Toma? Guess he's here for the festival too. Why don't we ask Toma how to do this duel? Pine and Batilla have tons of ideas! Toma! Toma! Over here! Hey! Traveler and Paimon! What a nice surprise meeting you guys here. <sighs> well, I heard that a certain well-known individual had made an appearance at the festival and taken quite a liking to the Tanuki photo board. Since the Yashiro Commission is the host of this festival, I felt I simply had to come and meet them in person. Hmm. Red horns. If I'm not mistaken, you must be the esteemed Arataki Ito, leader of the widely renowned Arataki Gang. Is that right? <laughs> Toma, my bro, your eyes do not deceive you. And you are the housekeeper extraordinaire of the Kamisato clan. You're quite the celebrity yourself, you know. Well, I'm flattered, Ito. And it's nice to meet you too, um, bro. Whoa. There's a serious bromance developing here. I didn't expect to run into both Ito and the Traveler here. Speaking of which, I kind of count as the host here. So is anything wrong? Don't worry, you can tell me anything. It's all Ito! He wants to... Uh, no, 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 it's no, no, it's no big deal. We were just about to have a duel, and uh, we're trying to think of what format it should take. Oh, a duel. In that case, I have a suggestion. Since your duel is taking place at the Iridori Festival, why don't you have a volunteering competition? Then, you can both do your part for the Iridori Festival while settling your duel at the same time. What do you think? Volunteering competition? I, uh, sounds a little low-key. Not quite hardcore enough for the Arataki gang. I give this idea an interest rating of uh, two points. One for the Traveler, one for Toma. Boss means, uh, two points out of a hundred. <laughs> yeah, this job isn't the most high stakes, that's for sure. It just takes a little patience and responsibility. Also, since it's volunteering, by definition, there's no remuneration. All you'll get is this special edition drink from Sailing Breeze, as a small token of appreciation. On second thought, this is nowhere near enough for the prestigious Arataki gang. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, 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 wait a sec. What was that part about the, uh, token of appreciation? Oh, it's just a special edition drink produced by Yai Publishing House and Sailing Breeze. It's really nothing special. Boss, that's the one! If we take this gig, we'll get that drink! Oh, so, uh, Toma, my bro, my guy, my dude. Maybe I didn't explain properly. When I said two points, that's out of a total of... Two. <laughs> if there's one thing the Arataki gang is known for, I kid you not, it's our patience and responsibility. It's an awesome idea, totally hardcore. Practically tailor-made just for me. <laughs> Traveler, let's do this for our duel, huh? It'll be amazing. Whoever volunteers the hardest wins. What do you think? You didn't seem too interested in it just a second ago. Hey, this is the mighty Arataki, above all, bold-blooded Ito you're talking to here. I'm a say what I mean, mean what I say, might sound mean, but I say it anyway kind of guy. And I say, we're gonna have this duel. AKA doesn't want people to know he's only doing it for the drinks kind of guy. If it's decided, then allow me to take the role of your judge. The volunteer work is simple. You just need to give your help to people who need it during the festival. I will assign some job requests that I've already received to you. If you're ready, we can begin. Hi, okay, our first job is to help a busy vendor. His stand is just nearby. Definitely be a big hit. Are you the volunteers? Perfect timing. 
As you can see, there's a lot of dust and dead leaves around my stand. I've just been so busy with my customers these past few days, I keep meaning to sweep up, but I just haven't found a spare moment. Can you help me clean up the place, please? Thank you so much. Uh, please, get in line over here. Line to <sighs> I want to help. You're finished already? Wow, you work hard. You're wonderful people, all you volunteers. Thank you so much. Let's see. Our next job is to help a visitor. Check out our fairy tale picture book. Suitable for all ages. Maybe I could just turn my diary into a light. Hey, miss! Come and help me! Hey, Kajirai! Fancy meeting you here at the festival! But we don't have time to play games with you right now. I'm not playing games. I'm in trouble. I heard they were selling a new kind of tamari at the festival, so I, I came to check it out. But I, I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I went and lost my current one. <laughs> it's gotta be nearby. I, I still had it a moment ago. Can you help me, miss? So basically, every time we run into you, we have to go to Mari hunting. Tamari game again. Thanks, miss. Okay, one last job. Hmm. We need to help move some goods at the port. Let's go. Are you the festival volunteers? Oh, great. I was just wondering what to do about these goods. It's been really busy lately, and all the workers at the port are swamped. But I have to get all this fresh soy milk delivered to the warehouse as soon as possible. It'll go bad if it's left outside too long. Can you please help me take it to the warehouse? My co-worker Takeuchi will be waiting for you there. Thank you so much. Volunteers here to save the day. You must be tired. Put down the goods and have a rest. I heard the Yashiro Commission has arranged for Sailing Breeze to prepare some special drinks for the volunteers as a way of saying thank you. Soy milk is actually one of the ingredients for the drink. It's freshly made every day. In fact, the last batch of soy milk we processed has just been sent over. You'll get to try it very soon. What? So Sailing Breeze's special drink has soy milk in it? Ito won't be able to drink that! Hurry! We've got to get to Sailing Breeze before he does! so long I've been here ages completed my tasks a long time ago so there you have it when volunteering is the name of the game no one volunteers harder than Arataki Ito <laughs> 
you lose, I win, and to the victor go the special edition spoils. Behold, the Drink of Champions, created by Sailing Breeze in collaboration with Yai Publishing House, and as featured in the popular work, Pretty Please Kitsune Gucci? Woo, all this talk's making me thirsty. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Drink of Champions, it's time to come home. That's the good stuff! That was a mighty fine drink. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Although, maybe it was past its prime. Boss, they said they think there might be, uh. B beans in the drink! Huh? Ah! The boss is down! The boss is down! Quick, get him to a doctor! What's wrong? Can't Tomataki Ito drink soy products? He's allergic to beans! Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, quick, grab Ito and follow me. I'll get a doctor. I sure hope it's not too serious. I'm sorry. I didn't even consider this possibility. It was all my fault. Leave Ito to me. I'll make sure he stands again. Don't worry. I'll see you later. So, your friend is allergic to beans. It's a very rare condition, though I have heard about it. I'm so sorry that our drink caused such a problem. I feel terrible. If you don't mind, please, take this. This is a special drink formula with no soy milk. I could see that your friend enjoyed this drink a lot. Although it tastes slightly different without the soy milk, I'm sure this version will be more suitable for your friend. Please accept it, along with our sincere apologies.